Hi YouTube, sorry I'm just fixing the video so it looks weird. There we go. Oh geez, there we go. Okay. Um so this is going to be lip products and I was gonna break this up into three different videos, lip treatments, lip glosses, and then lipsticks. Um, but we're gonna try to see if we can fit it all into one video. Again, I said try. <laughs> Um, but we're going to see if we can fit it all into one video, and if not, I'll break it up into two, but right now I'm just going to go through my lip products. Oh, and by the way, everything that was featured in my haul, because I had planned to do my haul after doing this video, so everything that was featured in my haul, like all the glosses, the lipsticks, and everything that I purchased that I reviewed in my haul is not going to be in this video. That stuff is like this video is first stuff that I've had in my collection already so that's just forewarning you're not going to see any of the new stuff this is just old stuff this is just an overview of the collection that I had before I started buying new stuff okay so I have um let's start with like lip balms and stuff I have my EOS lip balm which I love this it's down to like next to nothing I should have used that for my Project Temp Pan. Um, I have my Blistex, which is part of my Project Temp Pan. My Rose Solve, I guess that's how you say it. It's from, um, oh gosh, Victoria's Secret or Bath and Body Works, one of those. I love this stuff. I think it's kind of hard to get open sometimes, though. And then I have, um, Random Chapstick, um, Soft Lips, didn't know my phone was on vibrate. Soft Lips, um, which I think this was originally part of one of my Project 10 pan. I might bring that back in, put that back in, take something else out. Um, my e.l.f. conditioning, no, therapeutic conditioning balm in strawberry. I like this. And guys, I'm going to go through this kind of fast, just so that I can get everything done. Um... I have my Elf, I mean my Mary Kay tinted lip balm with the sunscreen SPF 15 in apricot, apricot, apricot. Looks like this. And I might have to make this in two videos so I can do swatches. That's that color. Pretty color. And then I have just an Elf lip tin in Melon Mayhem, I guess. I haven't really used it much, but from what I have used of it, it's pretty nice. Um, and then I have lip liners. That one was in my haul. That one was in my haul. Okay. I have this um, sheer color, this Revlon Color Stay lip crayon, lip liner in sheer coffee. Looks like this. I use this a lot. Um... I'll use this. It's this color right here. I'll just use this and then like gloss over top. It looks like that. Oh, there we go. Then I have my lip stains from the Elf and two of them. Um, and the lip stain part, it's pretty, they're pretty good. This one is in Mysterious. Swatch that. And this one is in red carpet, and I really like this color. It's like a red with like a pink undertone to it. Very, very pretty. I haven't used the gloss for this yet because I'm just using it as pink gloss. So that is Mysterious. That's red carpet. Mysterious is like the same color as my skin. This Outlast lip stain, I don't really like it. I have it in 435. I was so excited to get it. It just makes my lips look like I've eaten a red popsicle. It's this right here. The marker is really inconsistent. It gets dried out sometimes. I just, I really don't like it as much as I thought I would. Um, then I have the e.l.f. Lip Primer and Plumper. The plump side, one, it like broke. It smells like cinnamon. It smells really nice, but it like burns my lips. And I think that's supposed to make them swell, which makes them bigger, but it doesn't work for me. And the prime side just completely mutes out my lips and makes them like white. And so I don't really use this that often. What I do is I have like redness right here. Well, not redness, but like what if I wear like a light pink color, like a sheer color, a sheer pink, 
it'll be like two completely different colors. It'll be sheer pink and then I'll go like this and it'll be like red. So what I do is I take it on that line, do it like right there on that line, and then blend it out into the rest of my lips and then apply whatever sheer color I have. And that seems to work. And then I have this little sample, Mary Kay sample pencil in um, Choice Chocolate. It's ancient, probably older than I am. I don't ever use it. It's that color right there. Uh, am I going to have time? I'm probably going to make this three separate videos. But I'm going to do all the videos just right now. So you're going to see me in this outfit again for three more times. But I'm just going to get this all done so that I can do... Um, like other stuff so um yeah I'm gonna make this three videos um yeah so I don't think I have anything else to review I'm trying to go more in depth with things maybe I can add since I have time um my Urban Decay lip pencil and Roach these are the two new things that I'm adding to the lip treatments these this is in Roach. Roach. <laughs> I mentioned that already. Really nice color. It looks a lot darker on that swatch than it does like on my lips. And then this is the e.l.f. Uh, the e.l.f. Feather Proof Moisturizing Lip Liner in Natural Blush. I am so blind. Um, it looks like this. And it broke. So I'm trying to swatch it without... And it just broke again. It's a really pretty pink color if I can swatch it for you. Oh, gosh. It is giving me the hardest time right now. That's it. If you can see it, that's the color. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do the other videos. Just make them. Make three different videos. Okay. So, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe if you have any questions about um, the lip treatments, just post me a comment and I'll get back to you. Alright, bye.